to like today's stuff because it's really pretty straightforward. Thank you. And what we're trying to get at is the enthalpy for a thermochemical equation again. You have a reaction in the delta H. And the whole idea of this is that energy is, energy changes, doesn't matter how you get there, the energy change is the same. For example, if I have this calculator, right, and I walk around with it, set it on this table, it has such a height, right? So no matter how I set it at that table, right, maybe it's on the floor at first, then I end up setting it on the table, right, there's a change in height. So no matter how I go about starting out on the floor, right, and then walking around doing my thing, right, as long as it ends up here, the height change is always the same. It's the same with these reactions. As long as you start, right, as long as you start somewhere, and end up somewhere, it doesn't matter how you get there, the change in energy is always the same. So it's kind of curious. And it's, it's, it's useful too because these guys in industry can then, can use that idea, you know, to, to test theoretical reactions and to see how things will work out energy-wise. And that's kind of what we're going to get into. And this whole idea of all it depends on is where you start and where you end up is Hess's law. And we'll see some practical applications of it. But so there's three ways to get delta H for a thermal chemical equation. Erica, what is a thermal chemical equation again? What's a thermal chemical? It has to have what? Anybody? H. Has to have a delta H. And has to have a yeah, delta H in joules, but if it's a thermochemical equation, it has to contain what? Uh, has to ooh, someone said it. Uh, has to have a reaction, and it has to have a what? Thermochemical equation has a reaction and a. Gloria, you said it. Yeah, you said it. Okay. Has to have a delta H. Jesus. <laughs> right? That's a thermochemical equation. Anything you know, that has a reaction, something, 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 gives this, something, 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 and it has a delta H. That is a thermochemical equation. It's just one more thing on the mole bridge. Okay, so how do you get, uh, you, uh, if you can see that, that's supposed to say delta H right there. How do you get that delta H in a thermochemical equation? One way, the hard way, is what we just did on our quiz, right? This is what we did. That was the hard way. You had to figure out the amount of heat divided by the amount of stuff that reacted in moles, divide the two, and you get your delta H for a thermochemical equation. Okay, the hard way. Ah, oh, nice. Easy way. Easy way, we're going to see this. We're going to use Hess's law. So much nicer. In Hess's law, they're going to give us, let's see, you're given the following therm thermochemical equations. They want to know the enthalpy for this. They want you to write a thermochemical equation. That means you have to have this reaction, C going to D, and a delta H. Okay. Well, you already have the reaction, C going to D. All that's missing is the delta H. And they're going to give you all these steps to get there. All you have to do is add things up. You want to end up with C going to D. And you want to know what the delta H is. You just have to add up all the steps, however many there are, whatever they give you, so that you end up with C going to D. So what you do, the trick to doing this, Gloria, is you look at these steps. Like, you look at this, this step here, right? You can do a lot of things to these steps. You can flip them. You can multiply through by numbers. You can do all these things you want. If you look at this first 
reaction. A plus C goes to B, and they give us the, the delta H, the thermochemical equation. Would you want to do anything to it? Would you want to flip it? Would you want to multiply through by something? Or not? No. Why not? You're right. Yeah, you C. Look at that C. If you mess with that reaction, you just screwed it up. Because all you, you want to end up with C down here. It's not 2C. And C is on this side. Don't do anything to it. Right? So let's leave that one alone. A plus C goes to B. And my delta H is 200 kilojoules. Leave it alone. Brianna, how about that second one? Would you want to do anything to it? These on the other side. So you just do what to that reaction? Flip it. Would we multiply through by anything? No. I mean, we could, but you just messed it up. So you just flip it. OK, so let's flip it here. So we're going to have B on this side, A plus D on that side. When I flip a reaction, Taylor, what happens to the uh, delta H? Anybody help her? You flip a reaction, what happens to the delta H? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just change sign. Right? You just change sign. So we had, what, negative 300? So you make it positive 300. There's no more steps. So kind of get, plus we have what we want. When we add these two up, Desiree, what's going to cancel on us? Can you see it? Yeah. A's are on opposite sides. B's are on opposite sides. Right? And we get what we want, what we need. And then our final answer for the delta H, Lauren, would be what? What would it be? Someone said it. Who said it? 500 kilojoules. Just add them up is all. Right? add them up. So it's not so bad. So you see the game plan for this? All right. They're going to give you a bunch of reactions. And all you do is you look at the final answer. And that tells you what to do every single time. OK? The final answer tells you what to do. One more way to get the delta H for a thermochemical equation. Here's the first way, hard, quiz, a lot of work. Second way, they give you a bunch of reactions. And you add things up so that you get what you want. The third way, they have to give you a lot of stuff. Again, the enthalpy for any reaction is the enthalpy of, for the products, add them all up, minus the enthalpy for the reactants, add them all up. And because what they did is they tabulated the actual energy of everything. Well, what's in the tables, which is pretty much everything. Okay. So they have to give you the enthalpy for everything in every single reaction. They give you for everything. And then you add them all up for the products, subtract out everything for the reactants, and you have your answer. Okay. Now, this is the table that you're given. Jacqueline, this is what we want to find the nth before, is that reaction in kind of that bloody red. Is everything in the table? Jacqueline, is everything in the table? Hmm? Why not? This, is a hard, this one is worth two. This is a hard question. We're missing O2, exactly, and that's not going to be in any table. Oh, we better be balanced. Six. Oh, it's not balanced. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I screwed up here. Okay, they, we always start with balanced equations. How do we balance this bloody thing? How could this? You noticed that. That's a good one. 
Oh, I needed two Bs. Now it's balanced, right? Yeah, now it's balanced. Six oxygens on the side. Okay. So why is oxygen not there? Any element in its natural state, O2, H2, sulfur is actually S8. I don't know if you knew that. But any element in its natural state, Fe solid, always zero. That's, where that's their baseline for energy for compounds. They just picked it arbitrarily. So I, that's it's zero energy. Fine. We'll measure from there. So that's why it's not in there. So let's see if we can get the delta H for this thing. It has to be all the products. Add them all up. Minus all the reactants. Add them all up. So, Yvette, I have, what would be your first number in here? Products minus reactants. It's PBO, products. Right. Products minus reactants. The products, right? The reactants. It'll be the, the negative 219, right? Okay. Now, what's the trick to doing this? She's really close. There's two of them. So you can write negative 219 plus negative 219, or just write, yeah, put a 2 out in front of this thing, right? So the stoichiometric coefficients will just come out front. All right. Make sense? Yvette? OK. So keep going. Fill this guy out. All the products, put them in there. All the reactants, put them in there. Yeah, the O2, you just leave them out. Or you can write zero. It would probably look better if you wrote a zero in for them. Anybody get an answer? What'd you get, Brianna? Negative 835. Anybody else get neg negative 835? Yeah? Gloria, you got negative 835. Okay. Negative 835. Now, if you just put negative 835, you're going to get a point taken off. Because what's missing? Anybody? What is it? The kilojoules. You got to have your units. And how did Yesenia know that? She just looked in the table. There it is. Okay. Make sense? So we have three ways to get the enthalpy for a thermochemical equation. So you have a reaction, and the delta H is missing. First way work. Divide, somehow get the kilojoules or the joules divided by the number of moles. The second way, nice, they ha they're going to give you, it's going to be really obvious, they're going to give you a whole bunch of reactions. You just add things up to get the final answer. Third way, again, it's going to be pretty obvious, they have to give you the enthalpy for every single compound. And you just add them up for the products minus adding them up for the reactants. Okay. So one of those three ways, here's the first one. Uh, I 
think two people got negative 835, so I assume that was right. Yeah, Stephanie got it too. A bunch of people got negative 835 kilojoules. So try this one. Again, let the answer guide you. The answer guides you. So this is this is whose law? Hess's. Hess's. Right. That's the advantage of sitting up front. Take a look at that answer and let that guide you as to what you're going to do. Okay. I think it's just a, some acetate. You'll see an organic. It's a like carbon double bond to oxygen dash OH. In, it's going to look something like that. You're going to have to be adding these guys up. And just have faith that it'll work out. sure what to do? Okay. Oh yeah, not that one. So it's, it's going to be the reaction one. So what you got to do is you got to look at, look at your answer and that tells you what to do to that first reaction. And see how, see how the O2 shows up in a number of different places? So I wouldn't look at him. Don't look at him. Look at this big thing. He doesn't show up in any other. He only shows up in one reaction. So let him guide you. Right. Brianna? By a number. You have to multiply the delta H by that number. Yeah. So in that very, so that first, this top reaction, anyone want to volunteer what they did? What did you mess with in that top reaction? Did, you said you flipped it. What told you to flip it? That big thing. That's what I look at too. You try to find something that's not in any other reaction. And that big thing, that acetate compound, it's not anywhere else. So that told me to flip it too. So I CH3CO. Do the same thing for every single one of these, pretty much. And don't multiply through by anything. flipped it, so our delta H is going to be positive 2nd oh, reaction. You want to volunteer what they did for the second one? Multiply through by 2. Did you flip it or anything? If you multiply by 2, what do you do with the delta H? Multiply by 2. Exactly. Right? You hear you bet? She multiplied through by 2. She was probably looking at that C graphite, right? He doesn't show up anywhere else. 
So in the answer, he's got a two C's in front of him. And he's on the, that two C graphite. Not only does he have a two, but he's on the reactant side. So let's just, he's already on the reactant side. Let's just multiply through by two is all. So we'll have the two C's and two O2's gives two CO2's and negative 394 times two, whatever that is. And the last one, to get things to work out, you want to volunteer what they did for the last one? What's that? Multiply through by two? Do you flip it or anything? No, because what guy did you? The H2s, that's what I was looking at too. I was, just, I was doing the same as Jessica. I was th these H2s don't show up anywhere else but that third reaction, right? And they're on the reactant side. And I need two of them. So I did the same thing as she did. I multiplied through by two. Okay. Now, if you cancel stuff out, get everything to work out, add things up, it should work out. If it doesn't, we messed up somewhere. Let's see. So what all is going to cancel here? Those two CO2s cancel, don't they? My two H2Os cancel. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, should work out, right? Thank you, Victoria. Add it to your pot. So add up everything over here, put it there, add up everything here, put it down on the product side. It should match exactly. If it doesn't, we screwed up somewhere. I think it matches, right? And then do the same, now all the delta H's, just add them all up. Don't forget to multiply those ones times two. And as a final answer, you got what? Negative 486? I don't know. Is that right? Okay. Okay. okay we have five minutes here. We've done this already. Let's try one of these. Oh, I made this for these high school kids that were coming in. So I made it a few days ago. Yeah. So products minus reactants. Here's the products. So they all have to go in here. The reactants all have to go over here. So he's not going to be, he's going to be on this and over here. There he is, the negative 1206.9.
Anybody get an answer? Negative 39.3 kilojoules. Gloria got negative 39. Yvette, what'd you get? Huh? It's like, sounds like it's negative 39 kilojoules. Folks are getting negative 39 kilojoules. Add them all up for the products. Subtract them out for the reactants. Hopefully you get negative 39 kilojoules. Uh, I, I was doing the wrong one. No. <laughs> we can put it in here quick. All right. Products minus reactants. Calcium, negative 543. Bicarbonate. Maybe, don't forget the minus sign, Stephanie. Maybe you forgot about this minus sign. Calcium. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Calcium carbonate. Now, on the homework, they might not give you these nice organized tables like I'm giving you. Right? You may have to look all this stuff up in a table in the back of the book. But on quizzes and exams, I, you know, I have to give all this stuff to you. Okay. And again, don't get worried if you can't find something in the table. It's probably in its elemental state. Okay. So have a good Halloween. Come by if you have some questions.